Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a freshman at Marion, and my poem is called Double Back. It's funny how people can look exactly the same but be completely different, because I can't recognize you anymore. Your hair's still the same, your voice hasn't changed, and neither have your promises. I hear them echo in my mind at night, ghosts of oaths made long ago that will always be best friends, and maybe even more. Maybe. You used to be covered in clear glass, placed on a pedestal for all to marvel at, a display you knew you were in but can never get out. With each piece of your artwork hung on the walls, you slouched lower and lower. Every time your name came over the intercom, you bowed your head, ashamed of the attention you received, the gifts you had at the time. I didn't know that you didn't want me to touch you. The shrugs of silence and pauses and laughter were signals that you thought the glass was protecting you. From who, exactly? From me? I know who hurt you. I know who made you cry yourself to sleep. He pushed you to push back. Your exposure was a shield, and he was the crest. And when you told me, I didn't know how to react. What am I supposed to say when my best friend tells me she feels worthless? And trust me, I would never let him come near you again. I thought you knew you could trust me. The hours I spent consoling you, showering you with encouragement, and providing you with the fortification you needed to go into battle, it was never enough. There was a moment where you decided to go out on your own. When walks down the hall to our next class became solitary, your mind was trapped in silence. When you recoiled at the lunch table, ate your sandwich one bite at a time, hoped no one would notice your seclusion, I miss the girl who would whisper to me in class, pass me notes in our own secret code, call me Megan Zales because no one on earth had any idea what it meant. A world without you was as blank as my journal, and I had to go through the torture of staring at it, wondering where the words went. You pushed me out of the little things. Sketches and notebooks were no longer for public viewing. You left my mischievous glances unresponded to. We broke. I called to you again and again, texts and notes and looks, but with no reply, I didn't stop. I wanted you to love me, and I never expected you to let me go.